welcome back to my channel. I'm going to go through what recently sold and how much it sold for, what my cost of goods was, what my net profit was, and then for a few items I'm going to start saying also how long it took to sell. And since I've already shipped these out, I won't do a ship with me, it's just going to be a review of what sold and what to be on, on the lookout for, especially in Q4. So, first item was a pair of Lululemon leggings. They are the green Wonder Under cropped leggings, and they are the Capri style. I had done some retail arbitrage from Style Encore, which is a national resale store and so the cost of goods on all of the Lulu item Lulu lemon items that I purchased was a bit higher. They weren't new with tags or anything, but I really want to start building out my Poshmark closet and putting more items in that will encourage buyers to spend more <laughs> essentially and bundle items. So this actually did end up selling on eBay and I almost regret posting it on eBay because it did sell within one day. I had sold it for $37 with $5 shipping and the cost of goods on this pair of pants was $25 and then for shipping and fees it was $9.70. So that made my total profit for this item $7.30 and the reason I'm a little sad that this sold on eBay was because I did have it listed for a higher price on Poshmark. I generally find that the net profit is higher, uh, their fees are also less, so I'm happy that I don't have this sitting in my storage and that it sold, but <laughs> it was not a huge amount of profit. On the other hand, the next item is this vintage set of Toscany glasses with a clipper ship on them. I got married this past August and so I had been on the hunt for really cheap decor items for, for the venue and so I had ended up doing a uh, terracotta trash paint um, centerpiece and so I was looking for free or very cheap vases, glasses, and someone in my neighborhood had a bunch of glassware on the side of the road for free after they had had a yard sale. So I picked up the whole box for my wedding and inside the box was these uh, clipper ship glasses. The cost of goods on that was zero. I sold them for $24.99 and the buyer paid $10.35 in shipping. With fees and uh, shipping it cost thirteen sixteen, so the profit on this item was twenty two dollars and eighteen cents. This did take a lot longer to sell. It took about five months, but a free cost of goods I can't pass that up. So the next item I sold is actually something that I've had in my closet, my Poshmark closet for a really long time, and it is something that I've had from my personal closet so it was again a zero dollar cost of goods and I accepted an offer for seven dollars and then the buyer paid for shipping and so for my cost of goods it was zero and um, the fees from Poshmark were $2.95 so for this shell necklace I made four dollars and five cents. The next item I sold is this IntelliSkin shirt and it's supposed to help with posture and kind of compress so that you you know stand up and sit straighter and I picked this up at Goodwill for six dollars um, the buyer paid $24.99 and five dollars shipping so between the six dollar cost of goods and then eight dollars and forty six cents for shipping and fees I made a profit of $15.35 and this shirt sold in about a month. This next item I was so happy with. I was able to pick up a box full of Smile Direct Club teeth whitening kits 
from a garage sale. I'm, I have no idea why this person had so many. Maybe they were a reseller or they had worked for a dental office or something. But there were 36 kits in the box and I had bought the whole thing for $20. And so the cost of goods per item was very low. The one that I most recently sold was the last of that buyout and it was three that I had lotted together because they had uh, been opened or had some damage on the box. And so those sold for $12 and $10.35 for shipping. The cost of goods on that was $0.60 cents, uh, for the three of them and then um, shipping and fees was $11.51. So my total profit on this lot was $10.24 and it took around five months to sell all 36 of the Smile Direct Club kits, uh, but my total profit on the whole buyout was $262.78. So very happy with that, and I'm definitely gonna keep my eye out for more opportunities to sell a multi-quantity listing. This next item is an item that I picked up from Goodwill. It is a Golf Teeny white vest. Golf Teeny is not a brand that I've heard of before, but as I'm starting to get into golf, I'm noticing more of these golf brands. And so I wanted to pick it up because it was a very low cost of goods. It was $3 and it looked like it would be a nice vest regardless of where, whether you wore it for golf or just for any kind of active wear. So the buyer paid $16.99 and $5 shipping and the cost of goods was $3, shipping and fees was $7.13, so the total net profit on this item was $11.86, and this took one day to sell. The reason I think this sold so quickly was because there were no other Golf Teeny items listed on eBay. There had been a couple in the past, that were lotted up with huge lots of clothing. So I really took a chance on that one. I had no idea if it was a popular brand, but I'm glad I took that chance for $3 and it sold in one day. This next item is a PC uh, version of Vice City. And again, I had bought out a huge lot of PC games and made really good profits off of most of those. There's only a few left. Um, so Vice City I sold for $9.99 and $5 shipping. The cost of goods on this was $0.60 cents, and then fees and shipping was $5.99. So the total net profit on this item was $8.40. And then once I sell all of those PC games I'm excited to like the Smile Direct Club total up and see what that came out to be. I had purchased a lot with a Wii system, which I believe I'll cover here, and also two games, and I paid up a lot for it. I, it was not a good buy. I had paid $80 for the whole set, um, and fortunately I did not lose money on it, um, but the reason I was tempted to buy it was because it also included this Super Smash Brothers game, which did have a higher sell price, so I ended up selling the Wii system with the other game that had been included and then decided to split the Super Smash Brothers game into its own listing. So that sold for $24.99 and free shipping. The cost of goods on that was $5 and then shipping and fees were $7.43. So the total profit on this item was $12.56 and it took around three weeks to sell. This next item is a Sony lens, and this is one where I just wanted to see it go. I had purchased it with a 20% offer at Goodwill, and it was in the case. It was one of their more premium items, and it was originally listed for $65, but it had the 20% off, and so I ended up spending $45 on it. I'm not overly familiar with camera equipment and though I kind of looked at it and looked up comps, I didn't play enough around enough with it and see that it was kind of jammed and so the zoom 
function was stuck and I hadn't realized that when I bought it. So I was able to make a profit off of it, but I did accept an offer. I accepted an offer for $60 and the buyer paid $12.70 in shipping. The cost of goods was $45 and then between shipping and fees it was $22.20. So the profit on that item was $5.50. However, since it was something that was broken, I am happy that I didn't lose money on it. The next item that sold is one that I was taking a chance on. I, again, was not really sure what the popularity would be because it's not something I've ever sold before. It is this pretty shell soap and toothbrush holder set from Bed Bath & Beyond. It sold for $18 and the buyer paid $10.35 in shipping. The total cost of goods on both items was $4 from Goodwill and then shipping and fees was $12.80. So I was able to profit $11.55 on this item and it took about a week to sell. I run a five for $25 offer on some of my lower priced items on Poshmark. Again, to get some bundles going and encourage buyers to clear out my closet. So I sold this bundle and sent out an offer to the buyer for $25 with a discount in shipping to $4.99 and they <laughs> reached out and said, oh man, we, I'm $2 short of the balance that I have on Poshmark and so rather than losing the sale on some of these items that have been sitting in my closet for a really long time, I told them to counter for $21 and so they would pay shipping for $7.45 and that got them to the total that they needed. The total cost of goods for me on this was $1.98 because a lot of the items are from my personal closet and the uh, the fees for the bundle was $4.20 and so I was able to profit $14.82 on this bundle of five items. Again from that Lululemon buy from Style Encore, I picked up this zip up in the black or black and gray colorway and it's a really nice cozy hoodie and that sold for $58.00 and the buyer paid $7.45 for shipping. The cost of goods on this item was $30 and shipping and fees was $11.60. So my total profit on this item was $16.40. I sold this pair of Sorel boots on Poshmark. They are from my personal closet. I had purchased them worn them once, they were very uncomfortable, so I decided not to keep them. However, I had already missed my opportunity to return them. So I did end up listing them and sold them for $80 and $7.45 for shipping. Through Poshmark, the buyer paid shipping. So the total cost of goods was $0 and the uh, fees and shipping was $16, making the total profit off of this $64. This next item is one that I am also happy it sold. It's one of the first thrift trips I did for buying for eBay. Now that I'm a little bit more experienced, I won't be picking up bigger purchases like this because it is made out of glass and I recently sent out a Rachel Ray ceramic bake, bakeware dish and that shattered into a million pieces. I was very nervous to pack this up. I took very good care of the package. I took pictures after of the packaging so that if anything were to break that I could dispute that with US or UPS. But I did sell this set of um, purple corningware clear dishes. They're really cool. The set sold for $59.99 and the buyer paid $27.90 for shipping. I wildly underestimated in my first foray into eBay how much it would weigh and what size the package would be. So 
they definitely underpaid. The cost of goods on this was $15.94 for the three pots and then between shipping and fees it was $54.64. So I did make a profit of $17.31 but I will not be selling any more of these because it was a lot of work to package this up. It took around six months to sell. So this next item was one of the more profitable items for me in the past couple weeks. It is this phonic sound system and the buyer paid $200. I accepted an offer. I had had it listed for $225. I knew that was a little higher and that I would likely get an offer. So that was the case and they paid $21.95 in shipping. The cost of goods on this was $99.99, so a, a higher cost of goods, but I knew that I would sell. It had a good sell through rate. So uh, shipping and fees was $50.57, making the total net profit from this sale $71.39, and it took about two weeks to sell. Again from that PC game buyout from the summer, I sold this bundle of Medal of Honor games for $11.99, and the buyer paid $5 in shipping. The total cost of goods on this lot was $1.80, and shipping and fees was $7.56, making the net profit of this item $7.63. So again, not a huge profit, but these games have been selling pretty consistently, so the total net profit from the buyout will be very good. I am personally not someone who visits Starbucks frequently, so I know it's a cult following. I'm not one of those cult followers, but I did think that the butterfly print was really cute. And so this sold for $9.99 and the buyer paid $5 in shipping. The cost of goods on this was only $0.50 cents and shipping and fees was $6.33. So I was able to profit $8.16 on this Starbucks mug. Again from the Lululemon haul that I did, I also sold this cream sweater. This sold on Poshmark. and. The cost of goods on this one was $28. It is a wool sweater, so even if it didn't have the Lululemon name, I knew that it would be popular just because of the material content. And so this sold for $50 and the buyer paid for shipping. And then with the $28 cost of goods and $17.45 in shipping and fees, the total profit on this item was $12. Again, not a huge profit, but it sold in two days, so I'm happy with that. My first and best sale from the Lululemon haul was this gorgeous down jacket, and I am shocked that no one picked this up right away when they were in Style Encore, but I'm so happy that I was able to pick it up. It is a very good quality long jacket, so regardless of whether it was Lululemon or not, I knew it was going to sell for more than the the price that I bought it for. The I had a buyer on eBay pay $140 and then they paid $21.15 in shipping. And the cost of goods on this jacket was $65 and shipping and fees was $37.17. So the total profit on this jacket was $58.98 which paid for a few items from that Lululemon haul. So I was happy that I was able to get some profit right away and this took two days to sell. Another Poshmark sale from my own personal closet. I had this Leo, Leah Sophia leather necklace and I, I think I had it back in middle school, I wanna say. So it is, I think at this point, a vintage piece, which is crazy to me. Um, it's got that early 2000s look back when the Tiffany chains were very popular, uh, so it kind of mimicked that heart with the T-clasp. And so this sold on Poshmark for $10, and the buyer paid for shipping. The fees on this was $2.95, so I was able to profit $7.05 on this item. It took about a week for that to sell once I listed it. So this is the, the Wii system that also sold from the lot that I had spoken of earlier. 
The system with the controllers and the one game sold for $92 and the buyer paid $20.45 in shipping. The cost of goods on this, minus the five that I included for the Super Smash Bros, was $75. There was $31.79 in shipping and fees, so the total profit on this one for me was $5.66 not worth it. It took a couple, a month or so to sell and I was getting a little nervous. I definitely overspent on that lot so I'm learning. I've bought a Wii system before but that one was only $40 so I think I'll try to stay more in that range going forward of $40 or less. The second item that sold from the Lululemon haul was this beautiful cream scuba fit full zip up with the hood and this was a cost of goods of $40. It sold for $70 and there was uh, $12.70 in fees, making the total profit on this one $18.22. And like the jacket, I think this took two or three days to, sh to sell. I was able to sell a very pretty Taylor B Moss blazer and had these uh, gold glitter sparkles throughout and I picked this up based on style from Goodwill. It was an item that I was not sure if it was going to sell and it did. It sold on Poshmark for $34 and I had offered free shipping on that one. The cost of goods was $10 from Goodwill and then the $7.45 to ship and $6.80 in fees. So the total profit on this one was $9.75. I actually was able to wear this for an interview, so I borrowed it from the closet and then I was able to sell it. So I think that I got a lot of value out of it and it only took around a week to sell. I was surprised at how long it took to sell these really nice L.L. Bean boots. I had purchased them, actually my husband purchased them from a yard sale in the summer and he paid $5 for them so it was really low cost of goods. It took five months, four or five months to sell uh, for an offer of $50 and the buyer paid $13.35 on eBay and with shipping and fees it was $24.13 so the total profit on these boots was $38.87. A week before the Lululemon haul there had been a Patagonia and North Face sale at Style Encore so very similar to Lululemon I went for some retail arbitrage and picked up this Patagonia long line jacket and it was a collaboration with Uncommon Goods and I thought it would be a good pickup. I was able to sell it for $67 and $11.85 in shipping. The cost of goods on this one was $48 so it was definitely a higher price. Uh, and then shipping and fees was $20.28 making the total profit $10.57. This one actually did take a, a little bit longer to sell than I thought it would. It took about two to three weeks to sell, so I was surprised by that because I've sold Patagonia in the, in the past and it sold really quickly. Maybe it was just that it was a more rare piece and not one that would kind of be searched for as easily. I sold this Youth Under Armour uh, long sleeve turtleneck red cold gear shirt and I kind of knew that fall sports would be starting up, fall and winter, so I thought that this would be a good pickup at the local resource bin store. The, this item sold for $14.99 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping on eBay. The cost of goods was $1.99 and then all of the fees and shipping was $4.44. So I was able to profit $11.02 on this item. It took about two weeks to sell. I had brought my Keurig to my wedding so people could enjoy some coffee with the donuts that we serve for dessert. And unfortunately, 
it broke so I ended up parting out the pieces from my Keurig system and so I sold this the tank with any of the filters that I had left over and that sold for $17.50 and the buyer paid $12.70 in shipping and with fees that was $17.40 so I was able to profit $12.45 on this with the $0 cost of goods. Growing up my mom always cooked from the Betty, Betty Crocker cookbook and so this item that I picked up from a yard sale was really nostalgic to me. I picked up the regular version and as well as the microwave updated edition which I didn't realize was a thing. I picked both up for a total cost of goods of $4. This sold on eBay for $27.99 with free shipping. The fees and shipping on this item was $10.98. So I was able to uh, I was able to profit thirteen dollars and one cents on this set of cookbooks, and it took about two months to sell. The last item is that Rachel Ray pot that I was able to sell. I had picked it up for a dollar, so it wasn't a huge loss. It did break in shipping, so I did fully refund the buyer, and so I am out the cost of goods and then also the shipping. Uh, cost. They, the buyer had paid $19.99 and $12 of shipping and the shipping and fees was $14.54 which my profit would have been $16.45 however I am out $13 based on the payment that the buyer had made on shipping and then the $1 cost of goods so a loss there but had it worked out, it would have been a good profit of $16.45. So that's everything that sold recently. I'd love to hear your feedback on items that have been selling for you. So leave a comment below if anything here surprised you or if you have any questions about these items, definitely let me know. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could give me a thumbs up so that I know that I am reaching the right audience. And if you could subscribe, that would really help me out. I am looking to grow this channel as well as my eBay and Poshmark sales. So I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.